Young and the bird guy, and I haven't watched this right, so I'm gonna watch this directly with you guys. Um, I absolutely detest Alexa Chung. Nothing about her is um, cool, interesting, or funny. But I'm sure this video will bring out some sort of emotion in me, and I'm sure you viewers will get a lot of satisfaction out of seeing me get annoyed with this lady speaking about what she's going to speak about. Now, supposedly there's something involving the Bergheim in this, which I'm going to be annoyed about straight away because my hallowed turf. But let's see. Let's give her a chance. Maybe it's not as bad as we think it's going to be. Um, and let's uh, play it, right? Let's see what she's got to say. This is a video titled Alexa Chung Style Challenge 5 Looks in 5 Minutes from her website. Hello everyone. I have to travel a lot. You asked me for some stuff. Travel so I thought I'd blend right. both of those ideas into one little video. So today I'm going to be presented with a whole slew of outfits. And I'm going to have this is the thing, right? She was she might have been cool a couple of years ago or a few years ago, but if you're a girl nowadays and you're following Alexa Chung and you're in your you know glue to your screen she's got what 200,000 views so I don't know what I'm talking about but if you're if you're a girl nowadays and you're into style or you're into fashion and Alexa Chung's your style icon you gotta give your head a wobble no there's so many cool interesting girls out you don't just go to Instagram type in your favorite name and you'll find a favorite brand name hashtag and you'll find a plethora of girls out there doing fucking bits on the ground wearing the sickest outfits, dropping the sickest looks, right? Sickest brands, like just murking the game out there. Why would you want to follow what Alexa Chung is wearing? That's some basic... If, they, if ever there was a basic B-I-T-C-H outfit or persona, it would be this lady, no? Nothing about her is interesting. Nothing. Nothing. Just, you know, meh. But again, let's, let's continue. I have to pick just five for five different situations before I go on my travels. Wow, a very yeah. edited selection. Thanks. Um, you your help? car should be here in five minutes, so it's going to be quick decisions. That's very tinnery. Thanks. Your car will be here in five minutes. You couldn't get something more detached from this, isn't it? She's got some uh, a, a, a nice, young, handsome man coming along, dropping a whole bag of clothes on the floor, and her car's going to be here in five minutes to take her on her travels. Fuck off. Jesus Christ. Um, and I'll come get you in the car soon. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to the airport. Ibiza for a hen night. Oi, oi, watch out. Oi, oi. Gibraltar for a wedding. I don't know who's getting married there yet. Swiss Alps for a hike. I love hiking. Thank you love hiking. You love walking up a hill. Why do people love walking up hills, isn't it, and calling it hiking? <sighs> I love hiking. When's the last time she went hiking? What? Fucking when she went to LA and went to Runyon Canyon. Hiking, my ass. Thank you so much. And Berlin to Berghain, which is of course the super club there which has a very strict door policy and when you go in there it's really fun and sometimes spooky okay so i fucking hate her man i hate her so much berlin Berghain is fun and spooky of all the of all the ad adjectives to use for Berghain, fun and spooky fun and spooky i don't know whose girl this is man but you need to, whoever's girl this is you need to come get her so Let's get started. Airport it is. Okay. I have favorite t-shirts. This is one of my absolute faves. I got it in LA. Wild man, wizard. So him, for sure. <sighs> I don't really subscribe to the comfy airport dressing thing. Oh, you don't subscribe to the comfy airport dressing? What do you subscribe to then, mate, eh? Wearing Celine head to toe to the airport? Oh, great. Nice for some. Okay. Bloody hell. So Just show us what you're going to wear. Like Let's see what airport style is. Got some nice light jeans on. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Let's fast forward a little bit. This is so boring. That's the airport it looks. So that's what's that hen do? She's so dead, isn't it? She's so... There's just, she's got no sauce. Like, no sauce. That's it. She's lacking any sauce. It's all well and good doing the whole, like, you know, kooky white girl thing, but she's got no sauce. There's nothing about her that's interesting. Zero. The only thing interesting about her is the clothes that she wears. That's, you know what? That's the saddest thing. You know what? That's probably what, that's the thing, that's the thing that people don't like about hype beasts, right? They have no personality. They have no thought of their own. They're just devoid of any kind of personality, any kind of personal style traces, any kind of direction, insights, influences. Everything is just funneled through the idea of hype. If it's limited, if it's hard to get, I wear it. If it's a rookie wears it, I'm wearing it. That's it. And she's basically the white, Caucasian, I don't know, you know, cosmopolitan, Vogue, Britain 
Vogue UK version of it, right? Just everything, any personality she has is found through her outfits. It's like those girls you see in Old Street that wear those amazing um, gold or silver um, Chelsea boots, right? And now you see them wearing, sometimes they're branded, sometimes they're not, cool jacket. You talk to them and they have no personality. There's nothing interesting about them. The only thing interesting is their clothes they're wearing. They wear a, a fucking cool beret. That's the personality they have. They don't have any personality. The personality is the clothes that they're wearing. But the whole point of being chic, the whole point of being stylish is that your somehow your clothing and what you wear is a representation of who you are as a person. So that when I speak to you and I'm like, oh my God, I love that detail, that scarf. You're like, yeah, cool. you got a cool story to back up with that scarf. You picked it up when you went da 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 This was actually your mum's scarf. I thought she passed away and that was the last thing she gave. you got something cool, something of relevance to back up towards it. Something to relevant to give it some sort of weight instead of just like, oh, where do you get that from? Rocket. Where do you get that from? Zara. Like, come on, give me something more, man. Oh, these two cool shirts that are going to LA. Wild wizard, man. Like, don't you even... Wasn't she interested about the t-shirt? Where it came from? Where is it made? The style of it, the wash, nothing. Just cool wizard man t-shirt from LA. Ugh. She's so boring. You're always cold. Really? I wonder why. She dresses like such shit, like it's just so boring. Let's see what her Bergheim outfit's gonna look like. This this is her Berlin Bergheim outfit. Let's see how dead this looks. I think. Have you ever been there before? Why would you not know that? <sighs> Let's see what Burkhan Happy looks like. And even and even the fucking music they put in the background of this. This this is the music they put in for for the Bergheim video. It's like something you might hear at fucking Tomorrowland, right? God almighty. That's her Bergheim look. Yeah. That's what I'm wearing to Bergheim, guys. <sighs> this girl's a waste of time, man. I don't know what I I just wasted five minutes of my life watching this fucking garbage. She is trash upon trash, isn't she? Like it's a, again, but credit to her for still being relevant and still being around in 2019. Someone like Alexa Chung nowadays with the amazing influencers and YouTubers that we have now or that girls have to choose from, to still be paying attention to her, you must be really about this like boring Labrook Grove, Notting Hill, I don't know, um, Children Firehouse life, man. This is what you must be like. If you're still about that life, then fair play to you. But I need, I need, my, I need my influencers, I need my um, muses or style icons have a bit more sauce to them. She's just sourceless. She's just like the opposite of Kate Moss, isn't it? Like just devoid of any like why would you even care what she what she wore as an outfit for a week? Why would you care? Kate Moss though, you'd be interested, right? Why would you care what she has to wear? Why? And Kate Moss is fucking could be old enough to be a mum. Ugh. Terrible. She is terrible, man. She's so boring. Just so so boring. Like it's just insane how boring she is.